the owner of a print shop in Corning, who returned from out of town to find his business destroyed by a fire, says he did not have any insurance. Action News Now reporter Brian Johnson spoke with him off camera today as investigators are still looking into what caused the fire that resulted in $140,000 worth of damage. Brian. Tamara, Steve Turner was in Susanville when he got a call from a random stranger saying, Your building is on fire. He says he said, Are you serious? And then the caller hung up. If the residents of Corning missed the flames, they weren't going to miss the aftermath. Melody Poisson was on her way to church with her mother when she saw flames. I said, That fire looks like it might be in Corning. Then I said, Oh, it's on Solano. And then I said, It's by the shop. It might be our shop. And I got really close and I said, Mom, I think it's our shop. Richard Craig was just leaving Safeway and thought he saw a brush fire. I was really, just couldn't believe the, the amount of flames of smoke coming out of the The flames so high that Poisson's husband thought he saw part of their internet service company's transmitter melted. But no harm done there. 30 feet high flames and the fire department was here and they were very diligent in dumping tons of water on it and getting it out. The water was being dumped onto Adman Printing, owned by Steve Turner. The damage, devastating. But the flames, which started in the rear, were well contained by Corning's volunteer fire department, just barely spreading to the vacant building next door. Corning's fire chief, Martin Spanis, says it caused an estimated $140,000 worth of damage. The ad man, Steve Turner, was in Susanville over the weekend, only to return to this, his business of 22 years. Though he doesn't have insurance, he tells Action News Now off camera that the most important thing is nobody was hurt and credits Corning Fire for doing a bang up job. Concerns were his hard drives and computers, and he still isn't sure what kind of damage those suffered. Corning's fire chief tells me this afternoon that he met with Turner today and didn't find any hazardous chemicals at the scene. He says there was one report of someone leaving the scene yesterday, but they don't have any reason to believe foul play was involved at this time. For Action News Now, I'm Brian Johnson. Thank you, Brian. Chico police arrested a couple at gunpoint near the post office in downtown today. It